Hi, in this video, I wanna show you a really cool tip that you can use to fade out multiple elements without having to add the fade effect to each individual element. So to do this, it's really simple. So I've got this scene here, it's got, if I go into it, you can see it's got multiple layers. I've got a character, I've got these text layers, you know, the background, the button, all those kind of things. So what you would normally do is, you know, select each element, go to motion and, and go to fade out, which would take a lot of time. So instead of doing that, what you can do is go to the shape tool and go to rectangle. And I'm just gonna make this rectangle full width. So I'm gonna expand it like this so that it covers the entire video. And I want it to fade for about two seconds. So what I'm gonna do is just rename this one to fade like this. And I'm gonna go to animations and go to opacity. And I'm gonna make the opacity at the beginning of this animation 0%. And I'm gonna make it just kind of expand to the entire width of this layer. And you can see now that that creates a really simple fade effect um, for my scene. So instead of having to do it on multiple elements, I've just got one shape that's fading um, in, which makes it basically like a fade out effect, okay? Um, you could, what you could also do is you know change that color. So let's say you want to fade to black, just make the shape layer black. And you can see we've got this nice little black fade effect like that. And again, you could be any color. If you wanted to fade it like navy blue or something like that, you could do that and create a really nice looking fade effect. So that's how you can, you know, really speed up your, you know, transitions at the end using a simple shape layer and a custom fade animation.